Have you ever wanted to run an errand without seeing anyone you know? Well, thanks to facial recognition, that's getting more and more difficult. We live in a world where surveillance cameras and software can identify you hundreds of times per day while you go about your business in public. But why is this technology so prevalent? It was allegedly created to make our lives safer, but does it actually do that? For better or for worse, facial recognition is changing life as we know it. You're watching The Deets, a show where we demystify the technologies that are shaping the future. I'm your host, Riley Wynn. Before we get into how facial recognition technology is used, let's talk about why it was created in the first place. The first functional facial recognition system was created by Woody Bledsoe, Helen Chan Wolf, and Charles Bisson, and can actually be traced back to the 1960s. But the technology didn't really take off until after September 11, 2001. After the attacks that day, security agencies and law enforcement identified facial recognition tech as a tool that could have prevented thousands of deaths that day. Now, facial recognition tech is everywhere from airports to traffic cameras, and it doesn't stop there. Government agencies aren't the only ones building and using facial recognition. Amazon has developed a real-time technology called recognition, with a K, and is actively selling that software to law enforcement. As of right now, the technology is not being used for investigative purposes, but the goal is for it to eventually help solve crimes. If the long face of the law scares you, don't worry, facial recognition is being used for good as well. Researchers from Oxford and Japan's Kyoto University have developed a facial recognition system that works for humans and chimps too. It accurately identified chimpanzees 84% of the time and as quick as in 30 seconds. So rather than having to manually tag animals or rely on error-prone human identification, these tools could make researching animals in their natural habitat much easier. Bueller. 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 Remember spending the first few minutes of class taking attendance? Well, upscale schools are implementing facial recognition in place of roll call. This gives teachers more time to teach their students instead of dealing with administrative tasks. Facebook has hundreds of billions of photos on its platform, and the social media giant uses facial recognition to automatically tag people in your photos. You may be thinking, what the zuck? I don't want people to know I was hanging out with Mark last Saturday. Fortunately, you can request that this feature be turned off. Does the idea of a camera in the bathroom freak you out? Toilet paper theft is such an issue in public restrooms in China that the government has installed facial recognition scanners to prevent bathroom bandits. Here's how it works. The user scans their face in order to dispense the TP, but they only get 60 centimeters, which depending on how big you are is pretty much from your elbow to the tip of your fingers. The dispenser will deny the same person any extra squares if they try again within nine minutes. China can't spare a square. Remember the movie Minority Report where video billboards could change depending on who was looking at them? In 2002, that was just science fiction. But now, it's real life. A number of advertisers are using this technology to display targeted ads to people in taxis. The focus is less on identifying individuals and more on recognizing broad strokes, such as age, gender, and even mood. But these advertising boards could present different ads depending on who is viewing them at any particular time. Terminal 1 in Shanghai's International Airport uses facial recognition for what's basically their version of TSA PreCheck. In 12 seconds, a traveler can scan their ID card and use the security checking machines equipped with facial recognition tech to complete the process. Can you imagine being able to get through airport security in just 12 seconds? It'd be a game changer for travel as we know it. Not all uses of facial recognition are being received well. The city of San Francisco has banned the use of the technology by any city agencies, including the police department. And the UK is having its first court cases about the issue. There are a few problems with government agencies using this technology. The first is the question of accuracy. Despite advances in facial recognition technology, there's still a concern about errors and bias. The dangers of algorithmic bias have been flagged by many concerned voices, 
and facial recognition is one more area where this risk of bias has been proven problematic, specifically when it comes to people of color. Facial recognition is controversial. There's no getting around it. Out of all the biometric technologies available, none carry the same baggage as automated facial recognition. So will a number of positive use cases be enough to offset people's concerns about this mass surveillance technology? Will the possibility of preventing another 9-11 style terrorist attack outweigh people's privacy concerns? We'll have to watch and wait. And in the meantime, expect to be watched wherever you go. Does this freak you out or does it make you feel safe? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Riley Wynn with Digital Trends and thanks for watching.